Hey everyone, and greetings once again from Radio Wasteland Records. It is time for our weekly check into some of the new releases headed to an independent record store near you. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this upcoming week's releases, though. Way too many for us to cover. If you'd like to see that full list, head over to our website at RadioWastelandRecords.com. From there, you can explore to your heart's desire, both into the future, current releases, and stuff into the past as well. But first, we're going to dive into these coming up for Friday, November 3rd, 2023. New releases include some very familiar names, some posthumous releases, if you will. And we're starting off with the new one from Jimmy Buffett. This is called Equal Strain on All Parts. We've got two vinyl variations of this to talk about, but first the description says that singer-songwriter Jimmy Buffett, well, the late Jimmy Buffett, regaled audiences for over five decades with songs about uh, faces and places from his lifelong journey along the road less traveled. So his new album, Equal Strain on All Parts, is a new chapter, well, sadly the final chapter, in a story that has a playful and heartfelt gift to his dedicated fans. The description goes on to say that this is inspired by his grandfather's description of a good nap. And the new album features some well-known friends collaborating with Buffett, including the likes of Paul McCartney, Emmylou Harris, and the Preservation Hall Jazz Band. This is a double LP, and one of the versions is just blue vinyl, this one listing for about $30. And then there is an indie exclusive on blue swirl vinyl. This one also includes an exclusive poster as well. This one listing for about $40. Brand new stuff from an old favorite as well. Van Morrison's got one called Accentuate the Positive. This is his 45th studio album, and it is an electrifying homage to rock and roll. Like his uh, most recent album, Moving on Skiffle, Accentuate the Positive sees Van Morrison returning to one of his childhood passions, this time early rock and roll. So this has got some new Morrison takes on songs like When Will I Be Loved, Flip Flop Fly, Lonesome Train, A Shot of Rhythm and Blues, Shaken All over Blueberry Hill and even Lucille on here as well. A double LP on black vinyl, the new one from Van Morrison Accentuate the Positive, listing for about $39. And there is an indie exclusive coming on blue vinyl, also a double LP. That one listing a little bit more coming in at a suggested price of $40. New stuff, kind of, also from Blues Traveler. This is called Traveler's Soul. The Grammy Award-winning band Blues Traveler is back with their 15th full-length album. This album is similar to 21's Traveler's Blues, which was a blues cover album that earned them another Grammy nomination. This brand new one, Traveler's Soul, covers albums paying tribute to R&B and soul classics. Their first single off of this, by the way, is Fool For You, originally popularized by Curtis Mayfield's The Impressions back in 1968. So Blues Traveler doing their take on some soul classics with Traveler's Soul, a double LP on black vinyl listing for about $36. And we're being told there is an indie exclusive version as well, but it does not give me what color variation that is, but that also lists for about $36. Next up, some brand new country from Jason Aldean. This is Highway Desperado, not absolutely brand new, but new on vinyl, so to speak. This is the 11th studio album by the country music singer-songwriter. And yes, it includes that track, Try This in a Small Town. Tough crowds on here as well as Let Your Boys Be Country and Whiskey Drink. So new stuff from Jason Aldean, Highway Desperado, listing for about $25. A new compilation from Willie Nelson. Double LP, this is Willie Nelson's Greatest Hits. So the description does say that this new collection is a career spanner jam-packed with 22 songs with each era of Willie's illustrious six decades plus career chronicled. It does include the massive hits though, like On the Road Again, Always On My Mind, and Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain, next to a number of his 21st century gems, including latter-day classics like Ride Me Back Home and Roll Me Up. This album also features some of his classic collaborations with the likes of Merle Haggard, Waylon Jennings, even Julio and Glacius is on here. So this double LP of Willie Nelson's greatest hits, a new compilation thereof, listing for about $39. Next up is kind of an unexpected cover album. This is Dolan's Sings R.E.M. Just in case you're curious, yes, this is Mickey Dolan's from the Monkees, and he's singing R.E.M. tunes. This is on 180 gram yellow vinyl, but it is an EP, an extended play, meaning that there is only four songs on this. So this one, you get to hear Dolan singing Shiny Happy People, Radio Free Europe, Man in the Moon, and Leaving New York. Coming in, though, uh, for an EP, I think it's a little thick, but a suggested price of $27. So again, that's Mickey Dolan's singing four R.E.M. songs on yellow vinyl on Dolan's Sings R.E.M. 
Here is one of those uh, various artists' tribute albums to a certain artist, and I thought this one was worth mentioning. It's a goth industrial tribute to the Smashing Pumpkins. This coming from Cleopatra Records, and the description says that it's a vintage tribute album finally making its way to a first-ever pressing on vinyl of the groundbreaking tribute album to the 90s alt-rock superstars, the Smashing Pumpkins. This is, according to the description, one of the most unique tribute albums ever made that united British New Wavers like 6-6 Sputnik with industrial bands bands like the Electric Hellfire Club, Span Ranch, and 16 Volt Plus, plus many, many others. So the goth industrial tribute to the Smashing Pumpkins coming on gold-colored vinyl from Cleopatra Records listing for about $30. And then finally, another one of those revisited or reimagined type albums. This is called The Block Revisited, and it's coming from The New Kids on the Block. It is a double LP, and the description says that this celebrates the 15th anniversary of New Kids on the Block with The Block Revisited. On this, the original boy band collaborates with K-pop's newest superstars to bring you the pop event of 2023. Now, it does say K-pop superstars, but I'm seeing folks on here like Lady Gaga collaborating with them, uh, the Pussycat Dolls, New Edition. Edition. Akon is on here, uh, as well as a host of others who I've not really heard of, to tell you the truth. But anyhow, you have got the new kids on the block with the block revisited, a double LP where they're reimagining some hits with a lot of collaborations, coming in at a list price of $33. Onward we go now to the reissues coming up on Friday the 3rd of November. By the way, if you want to see just this week's list, I forgot to mention earlier, you can look down in the description below and I'll put a link to just this upcoming week's stuff so you can narrow your search down. But we do have a couple of big ones on the reissue front, including a new pressing of Piano Man by Billy Joel. Originally released in 1973, this of course features the legendary hits uh, Piano Man and Captain Jack. So this reissue on black vinyl, nothing too special by the looks of it because it's coming from Sony Legacy, listing for about $27. But on the heels of this, we have the release of the Vinyl Collection Volume 2 from Billy Joel. You might remember a year or so ago, they came out with a huge box set of Billy Joel stuff from his early albums. Well, now we have the follow-up to this with Volume 2. So this big box set brings together Billy Joel's monumentally successful albums from the latter part of his career, starting with Glass Houses from 1980, then goes on to The Nylon Curtain, and Innocent Man, The Bridge, Stormfront, and River of Dreams. This also includes two titles on vinyl for the very first time, the double LP Fantasies and Delusions, and the triple LP Live from Long Island, recorded in 1982. The description goes on to clarify that all of these were sourced from the original album, Masters, and this includes a 60-page booklet featuring Billy's personal observations and an essay written by Rob Tannenbaum on here as well. So, the vinyl collection, Volume 2, an 11-record set coming from Billy Joel, listing, as you might think an 11-record box set would, at $312. Next up, we've got a pair of reissues from the late, great Christy McVie, her self-titled one that was originally released in 1984, the first solo recording since her 1970 self-titled release under her maiden name at the time. So this one, the reissue of Christy McVie, listing for about $25. And we can also look forward to a reissue of In the Meantime, which was originally released in 2004, this one coming in at a list price of $35. Speaking of late great artists, we've got a trio of reissues coming from Sinead O'Connor, starting off with The Lion and the Cobra. Sinead O'Connor, widely regarded as one of the most influential female performers from the 90s, known for her sensational performances and raw vocal emotion, but also for her outspoken confidence to express herself publicly, i.e. Saturday Night Live. So we've got this trio of albums, as mentioned, The Lion and the Cobra, this one listing for about $28. And we also have Am I Not Your Girl, this one also listing for $28. By the way, that one was originally released in 1992. And then finally, we're wrapping up with Universal Mother, this one released in 1994 and also listing for about $28. Here's a reissue of Skeletons in the Closet, the best of Oingo Boingo coming on brown and black vinyl. The description says during the late 80s, when Oingo Boingo were with MCA Records, their previous label, A&M, put together this compilation to introduce their 1981 through 1983 period with a 12-track overview of the band's first three albums. So you're going to get this uh, kind of a label trying to cash in on them after they're gone. Hence, you're not going to get Dead Man's Party on this, but there's a lot of other great early Oingo Boingo stuff. So Skeletons in the Closet, the best of Oingo Boingo, on that brown and black colored vinyl listing for about $27. From 
Music on Vinyl, we're getting this reissue of Titer from Mindless Self-Indulgence, a limited edition of 2,000 individually numbered copies on translucent magenta colored vinyl. So Titer from Music on Vinyl, Mindless Self-Indulgence, listing really heavy, as the MOV stuff tends to, but it's a double LP coming in at a list price of about $48. Next up is a reissue of Before These Crowded Streets from the Dave Matthews Band. Fans just call him Dave, by the way. The description says that this is the third studio album by the Grammy Award-winning rock band, originally released in spring of 1998. So this double LP reissue looks like it's coming with a small booklet insert as well on black vinyl, listing for about $45. Here's a great team-up from Ben Harper and Charles Musselwhite, originally released in 2013. The album is called Get Up, and this saw Ben Harper team up with the legendary blues musician Charlie Musselwhite for a collection of songs that blend gospel, roots, country, and R&B to create a record that is considered to be a modern blues classic. So Get Up, a reissue from Ben Harper and Charlie Musselwhite, listing for about $26. That coming on black vinyl, by the way. Into the anniversary reissues we go, and we now have a 50th anniversary edition of Time Fades Away from Neil Young. This was the first live album released by Young, and in this one he's backed by the Stray Gators, the band who played on his album Harvest. Originally released in 1973, this one is coming on clear vinyl and will list for about $25. Two variations of a 40th anniversary from Motorhead. Another perfect day, the first being an orange and yellow splatter vinyl. This is celebrating that 40th anniversary of the sixth studio album by the British rock band Motorhead. Originally released in 1983 on Bronze Records, this would be the band's last full-length album with that label. So the orange and yellow splatter version of Another Perfect Day, coming in at a list price of $35.00. And there is an expanded edition of this as well, this being a triple LP expanded edition, which includes a brand new half-speed master from the original tapes and a full live show of a recently unearthed concert recorded at Hull City Hall on June 22nd of 1983. Also included is an insert that tells the story of Another Perfect Day, told through previously unpublished and new interviews, plus some never-before-seen photos and rare memorabilia as well. So the expanded edition of Motorhead's Another Perfect Day listing for about $75. Next up is a reissue from Cleopatra Records of Air Supply's One Night Only, their 30th anniversary show, this one coming on purple marbled vinyl. Recorded at a very special reunion concert back in 2004, this includes the band's most loved songs like All of Our Love, Lost in Love, Here I Am, No Love, and Making Love Out of Nothing at All. Again, this one coming on purple marbled vinyl from Cleopatra, One Night Only, the 30th anniversary show from Air Supply, listing for about $28. One Christmas reissue to sneak in here, and this is from Chicago, the greatest Christmas hits by Chicago coming on red vinyl. It has got 13 Yuletide favorites interpreted by Chicago, this one coming in at a list price of $22. And finally on the reissue front for the 3rd of November, we've got proof that the labels will really reissue just about anything nowadays. Here we have a Folkways record which was originally released in 1958 seeing new light, and it is the sounds of North American frogs. And it is exactly what the title says it is. The amphibian song revival begins here, according to our description. This classic of both biological fieldwork and natural sound recordings, compiled and narrated by renowned herpetologist Charles M. Bogert, was originally released, as I mentioned, by Folkways in 1958, and presents the sounds of 57 species of frogs and toads, and it's been remastered from the original tapes. These were recorded in swamps, lakes, and woods, and creeks, as well as roadside ditches all across North America. So through this, you can listen to the bewitching tones of the pip frog, the dwarf Mexican tree frog, the little green toad, southwestern woodhouse toads, uh, the great basin spadefoot, and other unsung heroes of Bog Creek. So this reissue of Sounds of North American Frogs from Folkways, coming in at a list price of $25. Hey, that may just be a cool relaxation record. You never know. So that will do it for a look at the upcoming releases for Friday, November 3rd, 2023. If you're local and you see something you'd like us to pre-order, just contact us here at the store and we can take care of that for you. Not local, or if you'd like to see a little bit more, head over to our website at RadioWastelandRecords.com. From there, you can peruse this list as well as lots of other cool stuff, uh, both into the future and the past as well. And as always, I'll put a link directly to all of this week's releases in the description below so you can narrow down your search if that's what you'd like to do. So until next time, this has been Jim from Radio Wasteland. Thanks a lot for being here.
Into the anniversary editions next, we've got a 50th anniversary of Time Fades Away from Neil Diamond. Holy crap, did I just say that? <laughs> Neil Young. <laughs> wow.